cataracts are so common that by the time somebody reaches 80, the age of 80 in America, they have a 50% chance of having cataracts or having surgery involving them. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you the, the major warning signs um, of cataracts as well as two supplements that can help you prevent ever, ever getting them. Now before I get started, down below, I'm giving away a free video-based guide on using various dietary supplements and alternative medicine. Now I want you to picture something. Okay, Close your eyes. Picture light hitting your eye, going through it, and then reaching an area where it's processed and sent to the brain to create images. Next, I want you to picture what if light passing through that eye, you know, what if something was blocking it? Blocking the light. If this happened, depending on how big the obstacle really was, light would be redirected and it wouldn't reach its intended destination and would create some vision problems. So open your eyes. This is what happens with cataracts. And the top warning sign of them is instead of a clearer vision, a person's eyesight is going to be more cloudy, almost like looking through a fogged up window or a blurry car mirror. Now, another sign of this problem is sensitivity to light. And, okay, sure, yeah, everyone's a little sensitive to bright light, like a, a big flashlight beam uh, beaming in their face and driving at night, whatnot. But with cataract, it's going to be worse. This also makes it more difficult to drive at night, of course, when there's a lot of lights. Now, a person with cataracts um, can also have lenses of their eyes change uh, color a little bit. It could change to a yellowish or brownish tint. Um, additionally, this might affect some um, some other things, like a uh, it can affect their vision. Person uh, over time can have a brownish tinge to their vision, a little bit of coloring going on. Uh, this color may be mild at first, but as it progresses, a person could have trouble seeing other colors, like blues and purples. Next, as light goes around the object that's blocking it, the eye. Can you guess what else could pop up in somebody's vision if this happens? And I'll give you a hint. It, it will make driving at nighttime even more difficult. Did you get it? I'll throw one more, one more hint your way. See if you can get, figure it out. Um, think of angels. Starts with an H. Yeah, halos uh, could form around lights. And that's not very good when someone's driving at nighttime. And um, it's interesting. I actually, when I first wake up in the morning and I look at some light, sometimes I'll see some halos around it. Is that me? Do you do that too? Is that just me? I don't know. Anyways, lastly, a person could experience uh, having a harder time seeing objects that are in the distance. Their vision can get worse. As well as seeing two or more of the same image can, can start taking place. So in a nutshell, if you begin to notice trouble with your vision, it's probably best to get an eye exam to be on the safe side. Now to prevent cataracts as well as other vision problems, a great idea is something called lycopene. Have you heard of this stuff? Well, a study was done at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences in New Delhi, India. And the researchers there took a group of rats and split them into two groups. Okay? One group received an injection of lycopene, and the second did not. Then researchers inject the solution that created cataracts into the rats. And the conclusion was fascinating. Only 9% of the rats that had lycopene experienced cataracts. Only 9% of them. But the other group that did not receive any of this lycopene stuff, 83% of them um, had cataracts. So that, those are some big numbers. That's huge. Of course, we're not rats, though, but that's still pretty promising. Now, a second supplement that can help you is something called uh, carnosine. Have you heard of this stuff? Well, in a study published by the American Chemical Society, scientists again took rats. I guess scientists love rats. <laughs> some were rejected with the carnosine and some were not. Then, can you guess what happened? Yeah. They injected that, that same thing that kind of created cataracts in the rats, and they know some pretty big interesting things too. The result was the group that, uh, of rats that had no carnosine experienced 50 to 60 percent. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, the group that, that took the carnosine, 
that were injected with that, the substance, had 50 to 60 percent less cloudiness in their vision. So that, that's pretty big. Uh, so there's some great choices and some ideas out there to help preserve your eyesight and vision, which is very important. Now, to make the thing is with supplements is there's tons of them out there. They all say the same thing, and some of them are crap because the reality is is that the industry is deregulated in so many countries, and this basically means it's it's, it's easy for companies to push out products. Okay, and every year some of them get recalled for being crap or harming people. And to make things easier for you, I've actually created a, a report as well as a video guide all about what to look for in supplements. You know, the top warning signs of a bad supplement talks about uh, bad ingredients or common health products you should be aware of. It talks about herbal remedies made simple, bad herbs. It talks about some great herbal choices and so much more. And it's a lot of fun. Plus, it carries the best price. Can you guess what that is? Yeah. It's free. So why not? So, and to learn more about this free guide I created, just click on the link uh, below this video. I appreciate your time. Videos, <laughs> try to make these videos short, it's so hard sometimes. <laughs> Six minutes already. But anyways, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, what's your experience with cataracts? Uh, do you know of any other solutions or supplements that, that you would like to re recommend? Please leave a comment, share them. Also, and, uh, oh, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. That really helps me up a ton. And thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.